Hi everyone, today I'm going to walk you through the goals to completing the A Puppy Odyssey quest on The Sims Free Play. This quest unlocks puppies and kittens. This is a discovery quest, so you can begin this from the park. You need to be at least level 11 to be able to find the puppy in the park. Once you're ready to start the quest, click Begin Quest. You cannot start this at the same time as another discovery quest. Once you've clicked Begin Quest, you will have 7 days to complete the quest. If you complete it in the time limit, you will unlock puppy and kitten outfits. Let's get started. Say hello to the small dog. Bring us into the park using the whistle and the sim tracker and then click on the small dog to get this option. I completed this on my other game when it first came out but for some reason I never got around to complete it on this game so at least I can record it now and show you the 2020 version of this quest. The puppy will then run off, this seems to take a while. This goal will complete once the puppy gets to the corner of the park. Call for the puppy. You'll find the puppy in the corner, so click on puppy again and select the option. Pet the small dog in the park. Again, select the option on the puppy. Read the puppy's collar. Again, select the option on the puppy. Wait for the owner at the park. Select the option on a park bench. Pick up the puppy. Click on the puppy and select the option. It says that the puppy will now be added to your sim tracker until you find the owner. So if you can't find the puppy while you're completing this quest, click on the sim tracker and click on the puppy and then it will take you to where the puppy is. Return home with puppy. Now your sim is holding the puppy, you can click on the sim tracker and click the arrow with the home button inside it. Your sim will then leave the park holding the puppy. Let the puppy on the ground. Click on your sim holding the puppy and select the option put pet on ground. Check lost puppy ads on a computer. Select the option on a computer. Buy a food dish. You can find this in the pet section of the home store. If you already have one in storage, you need to place that first. So I have one in storage, but this won't count. So I'm just going to place that and then I'm going to buy a new one. They cost 5,000 simoleons each. Once placed, you'll complete the task. Check a refrigerator for puppy food. Place puppy food in the dish. So click on the dish that you've just brought. I'm going to place it in the empty one over here actually. And then select place puppy food.
Read a book on puppies. Select the option on a bookcase. Check voice messages. Select the option on a phone. Call back the number. Again, select the option on a phone. Sit with the puppy. Firstly, you need your sim to pick up the puppy, so click on the puppy and select pick up. And then you can click on the sofa and select the option to sit with the puppy. So cute. Greet Osiris. So Osiris is the puppy's owner. Select the option on Osiris to greet the alien. Click on your sim first to put the puppy down and then you'll be able to get the option on Osiris. If you're currently completing an alien concept weather machines quest, then complete that first before starting this one as they both require Osiris to complete them and you don't want to miss out on a time limit because he's busy somewhere else. Show the puppy to Osiris. Your sim will need to pick up the puppy again and then click on the X that appears at the front of your house. Pet the puppy goodbye, select the option on the puppy. Stay out of the way. Select the option on a seat. Pet the kitten. Oh, a kitten has arrived too. Select the option on the kitten that appears at the front of your sim's house. Why do we never get the quick complete adverts on the longer tasks? Tell Osiris about the puppy. Select the option on Osiris. If you can't find him at your sim's house, open the sim tracker. He should appear on there. He's definitely not here at the moment. There he is, so click on the whistle to bring him to your house. Check the pet store. Head to the pet store in Simtown and in there you'll find some puppies and kittens. You don't have to buy anything right now, you can click on the green button to go back to complete this task. Say goodbye to Osiris. Head back to your sim's house and select the option on Osiris. Mm -hmm. 
and completing that goal completes the quest. You will now be able to buy puppies and kittens from the pet store. So let's take a look at all of the ones that are available. So the Greyhound one, the first one is free. After this they will cost 10,000 simoleons each. So cute! Let's take a look at the kittens now. So this first one is free. After this they will cost 14 LP each. If you completed this quest in the time limit, you unlock puppy and kitten outfits. These can be found in the pet salon. So if you haven't built the pet salon yet, you need to do that first and then you'll be able to find these outfits. They are only available for the puppies and the kittens, so make sure you select those when you head to the pet salon to style that pet. So let's start with the kitten. I think they just look kind of odd, some of these outfits. these are the outfits for the puppy. I love these older style quests, I still had three days left to complete it before the time limit ran out. That is definitely how a quest should be. Once you complete this quest, the Puppy Pals hobby event will begin straight away. You have seven days to complete this new hobby for the first time to unlock the Poodles. Completing the time limit unlocks the Puppy Poodle and the Adult Poodle. Buy the Puppy Playmat from the Promotions R Us store to begin this hobby. You also need to have a puppy in the house. As well as the Puppy Pals hobby, you also unlock the Internet Kitten hobby. There's no time limit to complete this one though. Once you have purchased your Puppy Playmat and your Kitten Play Box, you can find them in the Hobby and Careers Item tab of the Home Store. I have added a puppy to this house, so I'm going to place the playmat here. Then you'll get three options on it. I would suggest you pick the longest option to begin with. The quicker you can level up to level 6, you'll be able to unlock all of the items. So let's take a look at the hobby collection. There are 12 items to collect, and you have 7 days to do it. If you don't complete it in the 7 days, you can still get the t-shirts. If you do complete it in 7 days you get the t-shirts as well as the poodle breed. As you level up you will be able to unlock more of these items. So the quicker you can get to level 6 the quicker you will be able to complete this hobby. Once you have reached level 6 in this hobby you can then just do the 1 hour 15 minute option over and over again to try and complete it as quickly as possible. If you found this video helpful please like it and please subscribe to my channel. I regularly post Sims free play videos, I also have a blog thegogames.blog and on there you can find Loads of posts about the Sims free play, including all of the quest posts. Thanks for watching. Bye!